In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're installing a sub in a tyre. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. How are you, Martin? I'm good. How's your car, mate? Uh, in m many pieces. Yeah. So is yours. I know, <laughs> yeah. No cars currently, which is pretty embarrassing, but that brings us to this incredibly magical episode that we're doing today. Now, a lot of people, of course, use their spare wheel well to install a subwoofer, and that got us thinking, what about installing a sub in a spare wheel? Which might render you your spare wheel somewhat useless. Why are we doing this? Don't you think it's interesting? I think it's a cool idea. Because, I mean, normally, of course, uh, I mean, this is, this is your thing, Martin. I mean, you know, Marty studied acoustic engineering at university. I've got an honours degree in uh, music technology. And so we're just gonna get all the things we've learned, throw them out the window, and install a sub in a soft rubber tire that is not mathematically designed to fit the sub of this size but it's going to cost absolutely nothing and it's going to take no time at all. And we're going to hear first hand or first ear hole yes. if it's good or not. That's right. So the question is, if you've got a spare tyre and you can buy a sub for 20 or 30 bucks, should you just hack up and install? Um, we don't know the answer, but we're going to find out today on Mighty Car Mods. So these are the things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a tyre that can fit the spare tyre well in your car. You're going to need a couple of bits of MDF. This tyre cost us nothing because it was lying around. This MDF cost us nothing because it was lying around. This is a second-hand sub that we got from the wreckers. This was 15 bucks. Um, so that is, our, that is our total spend. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a pencil to mark out your shapes on your MDF. You're going to need some kind of jigsaw to cut it with, or if you want to go old school, you could use some kind of little hacksaw. Um, you could use a circular saw, but only if you're really skilled. Um, you're also going to need a drill to run wires out. We're going to drill a hole in the side of the tyre. You're going to need your actual sub. Um, we're going to use the 12 inch one and we've got a 13 inch tyre. So we're just going to have to make a little plate to go around that. You can, there's all sorts of tyres available. Go to Wreckers and have a look around. People have to pay to get rid of them usually. So um, you can get them for free, which is pretty cool. And that, oh, and you need some screws as well. You can what about some the screws. juicy stuff, Martin? You can use some screws to actually drill that in. Where's the juice? The juice, oh, oh, this juice. So this is Contour Flex, which is gap filler and sealant. We've got black ones, so it actually looks mad. And that is gonna spooge, oh, there it is, look. If you're actually making proper speakers, and Marty and I have built some serious audiophile speakers uh, for use in recording studios and high-end reference environments, um, you pretty much do the opposite of what we're about to do today. But it begs the question, is it actually possible to make something that sounds decent out of something that has no characteristics at all of a traditional speaker box? Normally this is meant to be rigid, it's meant to be sealed, there's meant to be a mathematical algorithm that suggests how big this is compared to how much volume it needs to actually move that air. We're not doing any of that stuff at all, but the question is, if you've got a sub that's worth 15 or 20 bucks and you've got a spare tire, is it better than nothing at all? Now the awesome thing about this is a lot of people when they, uh, a lot of time they put subs in their boot, they're losing a lot of boot space. The idea of this, if done correctly, is that the sub will just go ka and actually go down into a space of your car that's not being used anyway. It does mean then that you don't have a spare tire, so you're gonna have to either just go full JDM spec and not carry on with you, or you're gonna need to get a tire repair kit. Uh, but that is it, it's very, very basic, very ghetto, but very mad, so let's get to it. The first thing you wanna do is cut down a piece of MDF that's close to the size of the tire. The easiest way of doing this is tracing the tire and then smashing out a circle with a jigsaw. Once this is done, you can refine your shape to best fit the side of your tyre. Using a ruler that's pivoting in the middle is an easy way to draw out your circle and then cut it out. Add a liberal amount of sealant onto the tyre wall and then you can get your circular piece of MDF and stick it on making sure there's a good seal. Well, <laughs> this is without a doubt up there with one of the most ghetto things <laughs> we've ever done. Yeah. I'm just really interested to see what works, that's all. I'm, I'm, I'm here completely to know what it sounds like. Me too. 
So, you know, just let's just. You got to be safe. You know when you get to like Saturday Arvo and it's like four o'clock. You got a couple of hours of light left, but you just want to do something, you make something. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with this. Like it's late in the day, the sun's setting, whatever. Grab some screws and then attach the MDF to the tire. Next up, we're going to make an adapter ring to fit the speaker into the tire. You want the inside of the ring to be the diameter of your sub and the outside to be the diameter of the tire wall. Once you've got your adapter ring cut out, you can lay it on the tire and do a test fit. And that is perfect. We're painting ours black for extra stealthiness. Next up, we're gonna put a mad hole in the side of the tire to run our wiring. Pick somewhere on the tire to run your wiring and then run some wire inside the tire which you can attach to the sub. Cover your adapter ring in sealant and then you can attach it to the tire with some more screws. Make sure it's totally sealed and then you can throw your speaker in. If this actually sounds reasonable, we are on to a massive winner. If it sounds like us, <laughs> then then what, Martin? Then let's find out. Yeah, gem, gem the positive in him. Gem the negative in Captain Negative. Dude, and then that just goes... Let's screw it in. That is a spare tyre sub done on the budget. No time at three all. Three old, probably three bucks worth. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. And this we had lying around too. Let's install it and test it, Martin. I'm pumped. Screw it in, screw it in. I love it. I hope it sounds good. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Like for a, not bad for a 20 minute job, but that's pretty cool. I want it in like a home theatre. Like they think that'd look cool. Sitting on a home theatre rather than those ugly square things. Mad tight. I think either, no matter what we do with this, it should end up on a wall or something. Yeah. Dude, it's gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. Should we bench test it? Um, no. Let's just go throw it in a car. I reckon. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what this thing sounds like. It sounds really good. We are so impressed, it sounds awesome. In fact, it's comparable to the commercial sub box that's sitting next to it that costs 20 times as much. For the money, that is awesome and so quick and easy. The thing is, it's so usable, it's really easy to go down to the shops and kind of go, there's a sub, there's a thing, there's whatever, put it all together, and you probably can do that for a couple of hundred bucks, but this, it costs nothing, you know, and it's actually usable. I reckon it's like, there might be some quantifiable way of going, this is, not as tight as this one by 10% or by 8% or by whatever, but the fact is, it sounds good. I'm shocked, I'm genuinely shocked yeah. at how good it sounds. If you think about it, the actual, the actual driver is already mounted in rubber. So you're mounting that in more rubber, and there's probably mathematical reasons why that flex is bad, yeah. and there's probably reasons why around, because generally in audio, you don't see anything round, because yeah. the reflections are infinite. Um, but, but realistically, in, in the wheel well of, a, of some car, for the money and for how cool it looks and the practicality of still having your boot floor if you want it. Yep. Awesome. An absolutely mad mod. And the other thing I really like about it as well is that it's flat so it stores in there easily and it's easy to take out. I mean, if you take something like this out, you can just sit it there, yep. off you go, happy days. Like, it's it's great. Yep. Put a plug on it. Awesome. So there it is, uh, happy days. Um, not, I was not expecting it to be that good, I'll be honest with you. Me neither. No. Me neither. Now we just got to find a car to put it in. Sick of borrowing other people's cars. Need our own cars back, Martin. We do. How is your car? It's, well, I'm supposed to be picking it up tomorrow morning. Okay, cool. Fingers crossed, like with glass back in it and- I'm supposed to be picking mine up in 48 hours. 
So we're going to have cars again, which Yay. is going to be awesome. Busy week. Um, and of course, we're in our, our new shed that we've been setting up, which is really, really cool. Uh, really cool to get all of our tools together and all of our stuff together. So we're we're almost over the hump of, a, of what's been quite a uh, challenging period of no cars and nowhere to film, but we're almost on the other side. And most importantly, that was fun to make. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, cool, man. I'm going to go get some savoury barbecue nuts. Really? Have you had them? I'm going to get a rib. Dude, have you ever had savoury barbecue nuts? I haven't put savoury barbecue nuts on a rib, but Try I Try these, would... man. Look, they're awesome. That's a savoury barbecue nut. Give them a go. Here you go. Oops. Oops. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah, nom, nom, nom. They're good, aren't they? Mm, no. Savoury barbecue nuts. Mm. See you, mum. See you, mate.